if you were a kid in the 90s and by the time you got to 18, you know, you were in the 2000s, you're not going to remember the 90s the same as those who were already adults in the 90s. Just like I'm not going to remember the 80s the same way as those who were adults in the 80s. There are going to be some things that are skewed. And I think people forget. I mean, this is one of the reasons why I focus so much on the commercials. Okay, If you don't think that there are some areas where we've become less tolerant of black culture, um, all you have to do is look at commercials from the 90s. Also look at a lot of television programs from the 90s. Um, black people were a huge, 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 huge target market. Huge. We got to see a lot more of black culture in the 90s. The 2000s came up and it just sort of dried up and became, you know, uh, a white city. And then, you know, when any, and, and more recently, any attempts to kind of get a little bit of a return of the way things were in the 90s, Everyone's so many people's not everyone, but so many people start complaining about. Uh, well, you're you're just inserting uh, these demographics in because you want to cover everything. Well, that's what it's always been. It's what it's always been. It's it's happened. It's it happened in the '60s too. Late '60s had a huge uh, surgence of that sort of thing. Let's promote diversity. Oh no, oh, terrible, it's, it's off, it's terrible, it's, it's Marxism. No, it, it's not Marxism. And it's not some intersectionalism belief. Now, a lot of times uh, when we do see some of this stuff now, there is a mindset attached to it, and I think it's the mindset that we're, we're not liking. This, this idea that, you know, it's, it's almost a religion of, uh, of an axis, like, uh, you know, on one side of the axis you have privilege, and the other side of the axis you have oppressed, right? Like, living one's life based off of, you know, having that axis be the most important thing, sort of how, um, like, with religious people, the axis that they, they view things through is usually, oh, good versus evil, the, the, on the good side or the evil side, the axis there, you know. Um, and when, when people put, it kind of it just start to base almost everything they view, it, they, they, they view it through a lens of intersectionality, safe spaces. Don't talk about biology. Biology is a social construct. You said you're not a feminist, so therefore I need to fill out a bias report against you. If you don't look at someone in the eye, you're racist. If you look at someone in the eye, you're trying to be intimidating. Stop it. Make sure you fit in and stand out. Quotas. Affirmative action. For all minorities, including women. Women are minorities. It puts the lotion on its skin. If the woman doesn't make the first move, it's sexual harassment. We need to enforce equity everywhere. Always. Resistance is futile, and it's misogynistic and racist. But these concepts I just mentioned, it could be argued that none of those things are actually Marxist. But, you know, those are things that are worth speaking against. But making a big deal because, you know, Hollywood wants to diversify? Well, they've been doing that for decades. So why are you making a big deal about it now when it's not even as much as it was in the 90s? It's a fraction of what it was in the 90s. Think about how people like Dave Cullen or, or Autopsy 87 would respond to a car commercial that's geared towards trans people. Just look at how he responded to, to just a dumb commercial. <laughs> Just freaking the fuck out, being a right-wing SJW, you know? Look, look, Think about how people would freak out over that. You know, I, I hope there's a game company that decides to, to put out a whole s series of games. They may, not, they may be kind of cheap 
uh, side scrollers or something, right? But the guys are wimpy, and uh, uh, the guy is the damsel in distress, and uh, the woman is like you know Am Amazon woman with massive muscles, and they're the uh, they're really butch. And they're going to save the the, the man. <laughs> you know, maybe uh, maybe he'll he'll bake her a quiche or something, right? Oh, you saved me! Here's a quiche, right? It just it's just something like that. Just release a bunch of games. They're kind of cheap. Completely reverse the roles, and then see how many people freak out over it. I think that would be awesome to see the freak out over it. And then when people freak out over it, you just point and say, well, I thought you thought, I thought you were saying that the stuff Anita talks about is crap. Now, see, to me, it's, it's silly to make a big deal about any of this stuff, you know, no matter what side it's on. That's, that's my argument about this. But I do think it, it would be funny to watch those who, who, who are complaining about uh, what Anita does, how many of them would start complaining about the opposite being, uh, you know, the opposite kind of uh, thing being in a game. Um, you know, same tropes, but just switch the, uh, uh, the roles around for the genders and, and see what happens. Anyway. <laughs> but anyway, back to diversification of entertainment, of the entertainment industry that's been going on for a long time. I, I think there was even more of it going on in the 80s than now. But somehow, some of you want to make this big deal about it. Okay, I, I know that you, you want to speak against some of those, those examples that I gave, right? So speak against those things. But don't lump every time, uh, you know, there wants to, uh, diversity is being shoved forth. And it's blatant that they're trying to shove forth diversity. Why make a big fucking deal about it? Why does it bother you so much? You know? Now, if they're doing something that's supposed to be historical and they're not portraying it in, in, in a historically accurate way, yeah, complain about that. Fine. But, I mean, if it's a comic book character, what, is there, a is there an actual history behind that? I mean, what about all the other things that are not going to be accurate to the original comic or graphic novel, however you want to word it? Um, what about all the other things that don't quite line up? Do you get that pissy at that, or you just get so pissy because, well, it's... It, 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 I mean, why does it bother you of changing the race of some uh, fictional character? Now, if it's something that, that, you know, affects the story... Let's say the story was taking place at some point in history, and the character is what they are... That's literally part of the story okay fine that that makes sense if the person's race is literally part of the story yeah that makes sense to be you know pissy about about changing that unless the whole thing is a full-fledged reimagining of it and then at that point i mean you know why why do they have to stop at any particular place if they're reimagining it um but this idea, though, of people getting all pissy over, you know, movies being diversified, uh, television programs being diversified, I, I mean, get over yourself, seriously. <laughs>